What do dogs think about eating the same food for every meal their whole life, while we get to eat whatever we want? Well, for the next 48 hours, I'm gonna give it a try by only eating dog food, while this guy gets to eat my food. You ready? Wait, did you wash this bowl before we started? <laughs> So it's day one of my 48 hour dog food cleanse. As you could probably guess, we're not gonna be actually eating at the Cracker Barrel here. We just stayed for the night. I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I guess I'm ready to test out some dog food. All right, chef, so what's on the menu? This morning, we will be having a lightly scrambled egg with a sprinkling of cheddar cheese and a side of fresh cut strawberries. But for you, one cup of only the finest dry dog food. It's actually just some taste of the wild. I think it's foul. Not like the taste, but the duck. Okay, so we have our food. Let's dig in. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rock. Go ahead. Okay, Rock. Okay, Rock. Don't take your time or anything. And while they enjoy that great breakfast, I will have my first spoonful of Taste of the Wild. Mmm. Really? <laughs> Eat your strawberries. Eat your fruit, Remy. <laughs> It is so dry. I can't even swallow this first bite. Good work, guys. <laughs> it's like gritty. You look like you're gonna cry. How's that water? Is it helping? It does help. It kind of reminds me of like a stinky pond water. It's just creeping. Here it is. Yum. Let's see the bowl. All right. Ta -da. My stomach feels like a lead ball. Yeah, I'm feeling heavy. I'm feeling heavy, feeling strong. So we picked the loudest skate park in town and uh, I'm gonna try to skate on a belly full of dog food. Starting to warm up. Did you just do both? My back truck fell, bummer. Almost. about what an hour and a half skating and I don't think I feel any more sick than I usually do so I guess it's on to lunch oh boy this afternoon we will be serving wild-caught yellow fin tuna with a side of sliced baby carrots and for you a half a cup of dog food wait you guys want to have some lunch Okay, go ahead. Just as good as I remember. My jaw's tired. Mm. That one up. <laughs> that was... Mm. <coughs> yep. It's going good. Get in there. Just the into the bowl. <laughs> we got a two and a half hour drive to Arizona, so that should be fun. And then I get to look forward to dinner. Lovely dinner. How about you? <laughs> All right, we'll see you in about two hours. Just kidding. Julie saw some signs for Indian City, and now we are roped into a tourist attraction. 
cleanest restrooms. They sell cacti plants. And they have 99 cent ice cream, which yeah. I get to have nothing of whatever. Feels like torture. <laughs> oh. That looks like Willem Dafoe. A little bit of a splurge here. We overdid it a little. We got three of them. Well, one for me and one for each of the dogs. Yeah. You could both lick it. Oh! That was so dainty. Chew it. Chew, Chew. it. <laughs> you guys got your fun ice cream and your cactus. I don't. I don't care at all. Really, at all. It's not even. I haven't. <laughs> All right, now for real, we'll see you in two hours. Pretty good. I'm lost. All right, so we've made the Flagstaff, which is kind of cool. It's a cool little area. It seems like a nice town. Our day's not over yet. We have to go snag Rocky and Relly uh, a nice dinner. And then cook. cook. So what's on the menu for tonight? This evening, we will be serving oven roasted chicken with a side of bland sweet potatoes. All right, guys. In a little bit, you'll have your dinner. And for you, one cup of the world's finest dry dog food with a splash of cool water. Gross. No. Wait. Ah. Oh. Slow down. Easy, Rock. It's just progressively worse. And it hurts my jaw to chew. So we're trying to wet it down and it just makes the consistency awful. I don't know if I can eat this, cause I might barf. You gotta just swallow it, like a fear factor. But fear factor, you don't eat three meals in a row. <laughs> oh. All that fruit looks wonderful. Even just a bubbly, you know? That would be great. It's sandy, tart duck poop. I don't even want to do it. I'm stalling. Yeah, I know. I know. You guys done? <coughs> this is the best part. She's just sitting over here eating chips and guac. Meanwhile, I have that. <coughs> oh, God. I think this is my last bite for the night, and I'm just going to have them help me finish the rest of this. I'm starting to regret this video idea. <laughs> You help me finish the rest of that off, huh? I can't even look at it. Oh. Yep. Lovely. Tomorrow, if I'm gonna make it another day, I'm gonna have to figure out something else. Might have to try some new dog food. I feel like garbage. I think I can only taste and smell dog food. I'm exhausted. He's a ray of sunshine. This is what you get, 24 hours eating dog food. A sack of potatoes. Who knew dog food could grow into a potato? Some of them have potato. Eat dog food, you have a dog lay on you when you don't feel good. A Next cable day, hangs down right here. So you, you are can a dog. I think it's a spider web. When you wake up in the middle of the night, maybe a tiny little snake. You put it there. That's not right. <laughs> Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. It's a big one. Day two of my dog food cleanse. I don't feel too bad this morning. I am a bit hungry, uh, but I'm not looking forward to eating. Damn it. So what's on the menu for breakfast number two? This morning, we will be serving plain Greek yogurt with a garnish of blueberries. And for you, spring and sprout, plant-based dog meal. Certainly smells disgusting. Mm. Off. Okay. Rocky, not even breathing. This isn't bad, honestly. What is that, Ralph? This isn't like fruit. <laughs> this feels like cheating. It's got eggs, rice, it's carrots. It's got carrot. But Look, keep in it says mind, it's got cranberries and carrots in it. It's like fourteen dollars just for that bag. Thanks, Brian Churchill, for sending us some more money. <laughs> Last bite there. Holy mm. cow! I could probably eat a little more. I 
I kind of want you to try it. I don't want to eat dog food. Come on, just eat it. It's spongy. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Instead, she gets that nice little ball. <laughs> my second bowl, I couldn't finish it. I think my eyes were too big for my stomach, so I'm gonna put it back. I'm kinda regretting it now. I don't feel great. He's getting that face again that yeah. he had yesterday. We're gonna hike or climb? We don't know yet. But oof, am I ready? So we decided to go bouldering today in Flagstaff. So hopefully it's pretty good. Look out, I'm fall thrutching. Playback thrutch. Killer, in top out. Ow! I'm fine. Got it. There you go. Yeah, good job. All right, I'm back to it. Doesn't really count unless you top out. And they say it's pretty easy, so. Here we go. What happened? He just walked right through a giant cactus. And that's and he why got he like squealed? Six thorns in his foot. And they're like long. They're like this long. So I don't want to leave it in there. There's a culprit it's right bad. at the tip there. With that, what? Lunch? Yeah. This afternoon, for lunch, we are serving a London broil garnished with cranberries. And for you, the same as breakfast. But with Raw Instincts Food Topper. Rocky's pretty excited for this one. Oh, Slow, down. Slow down. Slow uh, down. He didn't even taste it. Right. Wow. Yum, yum. Not a pretty eater. Good mouthful. Okay. Lunch. One meal left. And I am looking forward to this being done. I guess we should put our stuff away and then what, go on a hike? Yeah. <laughs> Not as cool as I thought. We have done a few errands and now we are like fingers crossed gonna head to the Cracker Barrel and get a spot for the night. But it is so busy here and there's not a lot of places to park that the chances of us getting one, slim. Okay. There's billions of spots. Billions. I can't see out the window. Damn, did we make it. So what's on the menu for the final meal? For this evening's dinner, we will be serving Atlantic salmon with a side of fresh green beans. And for you, one can of Merrick's finest chicken casserole wet dog food. Gourmet. It looks like dog puke. You guys ready for your final dinner? Wait. No, wait. Okay, go ahead. One piece. Relly took us over here because he wants to keep it protected. And Rocky's, of course, is already gone. Ugh. Can I have a little water? That's not too bad. Really? It's soft. Does it taste like chicken casserole? You're powering through it. You're halfway. What? What? Why are you crying? All right, here it is, the last blob of gruel. No, 
No, that's it's not right. The final move. This is what the dogs do. They look it clean. Oh. That's just not. So if I had to rank them, I would say the dry kibble was my least favorite. It's really hard to chew, it's super dry, and it just like forms a chalk ball in your mouth, and then you have to just like force it down. Then, I think this is a tie with that really expensive food. It was kind of rubbery. This, the texture is mushy poo poo. <laughs> so, that's why I'm gonna put these at the same. Just dog food and water for two days. Doesn't sound like a lot, but you feel it in your belly. I welcome anyone else to uh, eat more dog food or the dog food you guys give your pets and if you've tried it before and what you think of it. And could you eat a full meal or eat it for an entire day? But that's that. That's my last meal. Now it's time for movie night. Bonus. No movie night is complete without poppy corn. For the dogs and I, popcorn. For Benjamin, peanut butter and jelly dog cookies. They actually look pretty good. Yeah, they're not that bad. Very dry and like chalky. Okay, movie time, movie time. Yeah, let's set up. Dun, 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 dun. Tonight's feature, Grand Budapest Hotel. <laughs> Enjoying that popcorn? I got my treats. And they're not bad, but you could kill the lights because it's movie time. Now I know this concept of eating dog food may seem a little out there. Huh? See what I did there? Celebration meal. But it did open my eyes to how spoiled our dogs really are. A lot better than dog food. When it comes to anything edible, Rocky can barely contain himself while Relly straight up refuses food he doesn't like. And that's because, as tight as our budget is, they have high-quality food all the time. And treats and snacks, and they have a full-time job as plate cleaners. But we appreciate the fact there are a lot of dogs and cats and guineas and rats that don't have that luxury. And we know our van is already full and our pockets are pretty shallow. But we do our best to get back when we can. Now, even though I've had my fill on dog food, your local shelter probably hasn't. It's a never ending uh, struggle is getting dog food um, and cat food cat as food, well. Yeah. Shelters typically go through multiple bags of food a day. So donations are really what keep them going. And remember, they're always in need of helping hands. If we get consistent volunteers, they see those faces, they see that hope and get them interacted with humans. They also help with the dirty stuff too, like laundry dishes, you know, it gets crazy. <laughs> and even though Ben and I aren't up for adoption, there are a few of you who have helped us out quite a bit. And so we just wanted to give a special thank you to Brian, Kara, and Colleen for your very generous donations this week. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys saw this, but uh, Rocky tried to play jump rope with our tripod here, causing our camera to take a bit of a spill. This was our workaround, this monitor here, and so your guys' donations went straight to that. Without your guys' support, we would have been stuck without Dead. a camera. That's a big no-no since this is our, our bread and butter. Stick. Yeah. And one more special thank you to Mia and all our friends over at Coco Nino. Uh, Humane Humane Association. Association. I hope that's how you pronounce it. So if you guys are interested in checking out their website, we'll have the link in the description. And remember, you can always reach out to your local rescue and help out that way. And I guess with that, everyone should go out and treat yourself to a nice hot cup of dog food. All right, everybody. Thanks. See ya. Yeah, look disgusted because you look intense, but not disgusted. You look like you're going to murder someone. That's better. Yeah, actually taste it because your face is better here. That's good. Rocky wasn't well enough behaved to be part of the intro. 